Welcome to another episode of Task Mathematics. Today, we're going to focus on the multiplication and division of integers. Now, the rules for multiplication and the division of integers are the same. Okay, let's begin. When your signs are the same, your answer will be positive. So if you multiply two positives, your answer is positive. If you multiply two negatives, your answer is positive. And the same rule goes for division. If you divide two positive integers, your answer is positive. If you divide two negative integers, your answer is positive. Now what happens when you have different signs? When you have different signs, your result is a negative. So if you're multiplying a positive times a negative, your result is negative. If you're multiplying a negative times a positive, your result is negative. It does not matter who is bigger, your result is negative. If you're dividing a positive by a negative, your result is negative. And a negative divided by a positive will give you a negative. So always remember, same signs give a positive result. Different signs give a negative result. So let's take a look at some examples. In example A, we have positive 2 times positive 3. This looks like normal elementary math. 2 times 3 is 6. So your answer is a positive 6. Suppose we have negative 5 times negative 4. Your signs are the same, so your answer is going to be positive, and you're going to multiply 5 times 4, which is 20. So your answer is positive 20. Let's look at C. I have negative 4 times 3. My signs are different, which means that my answer will be negative, and 4 times 3 is 12. Let's look at D. 6 times negative 2. My signs are different. My 6 is positive, my 2 is negative. When the signs are different, my result is a negative, and 6 times 2 is 12. Let's take a look at division. I have negative 9 divided by negative 3. My signs are the same. When your signs are the same, your result is positive. I'm just going to put a plus sign for the positive, and I'm going to divide 9 divided by 3, which will give me 3. So your answer is simply 3. You do not need to put the plus sign. I just put it there to emphasize that the 3 is positive. Let's look at F, negative 12 divided by 2. My signs are different. My 12 is negative, my 2 is positive. When your signs are different, your result is negative. Then you're going to divide, 12 divided by 2 is 6. So your answer is negative 6. We have 20 divided by negative 5. Your signs are different resulting in a negative, and 20 divided by 5 is 4. And the last one, I have 14 divided by 7. The signs are the same. They're both positive, so your answer will be positive, and 14 divided by 7 is 2. Multiplication and division of integers is pretty simple because they share the same rules. They're not, they're, the rules are the same. If the signs are the same, your result will be a positive, whether you're multiplying or dividing. When you have different signs, your result is negative, whether you're multiplying or dividing. Good luck on your task examination.